here at Beaumont Hospital and your affiliation with the American Heart Association. Sure. I'm Barry Franklin. I'm a PhD at uh, William Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak, Michigan. I direct the cardiac rehabilitation program and exercise laboratories. I've been in Beaumont since 1985 and actually been a member or a, a, a volunteer for the American Heart Association since the early 1980s. So tell us, how did you become involved with the American Heart Association? I started in the early 1980s, ironically working with a lady by the name of Nancy Brown in the Detroit affiliate and um, became um, enthralled with the mission, became very uh, uh, interested in volunteering to help promote the mission, which is basically stamping out cardiovascular disease, our number one and number three killers. Um, found I worked with a lot of great staff. Chris Martin in the early days, Nancy Brown, and many others, um, and a lot of great volunteers who shared that common mis mission or crusade. Wow. Okay, and I just recently found out that you're one of the founders of the START program. Why are you so passionate about START? Well, the AHA asked me, uh, being an exercise scientist several years ago, um, the AHA was embarking on uh, the START program, which made great sense to me. That is worksite wellness. You know, we're working a lot more hours these, these, these days, and in fact, the latest research suggests that we're working 164 hours more per year than we were 10, 15 years ago. So it made good sense, I think, for the American Heart Association to partner with corporations around the country to initiate this START program. And we got involved in really creating the development of the program that is specifically um, highlighting corporations that promoted physical activity for their employees, that promoted good nutrition habits, and promoted uh, a wellness culture, so to speak. In other words, smoking cessation programs, the availability of training people in CPR, uh, the availability of automatic defibrillators in, in corporations. So it really got me excited, also knowing that physical activity was a centerpiece of that START program, getting employees physically active, which also, I think, highlighted the need for getting corporations behind AHA heart walks. So for all those reasons, I got involved in setting the criteria, and we established basically two kinds of criteria, a gold recognition or platinum recognition. So a corporation basically would uh, submit an application to the AHA saying, we're doing these things for our employees. We're promoting opportunities for physical activity, we're offering good nutrition choices, and we're promoting a wellness culture. And those corporations that further highlighted outcomes, in other words, we're saving money, we're, do, we're making a difference, those could apply for platinum recognition. We also recognize that um, corporations could apply for community worksite wellness awards or worksite wellness awards, and uh, it's been a, a labor of love um, evaluating applications, and I believe today we've got well over 800 corporations that are fit-friendly companies. Uh, we're also indebted, to my knowledge, to uh, AstraZeneca as a major sponsor, uh, to Healthy Choice, and to Subway as uh, three major corporate sponsors. What would you say are some of the successes with the START program? I think the successes are that it's really highlighted uh, for employees around the country uh, a major mission of the American Heart Association, which is to stamp out uh, heart disease and stroke. Uh, I think it's made people aware of the fact that as a society, we're too heavy. Uh, Two-thirds of us are overweight or obese. Seventy percent of all Americans don't get enough physical activity. Um, we need healthier choices, and I think the START program really embodies all those kinds of things in a worksite environment to get people active and get them healthier. And we now know that there's great evidence that corporations actually can benefit by START program, particularly in these difficult financial times, because fit employees are more productive and their health care costs are lower, which certainly is very timely with uh, President Obama's mission right now. Did you have anything else to add? I think that's it. Yeah. Great, thank you. Thank you.